Well going sports fans, welcome back to another very special episode of Studio Talk. Yes, yes, yes. I'm your host, Joe Mar. I'm Rush. And this is This Side at Sports TV, the place you guys come to get the best, most interesting and riveting sports topics, discussions and debates on the internet. Yes, people. But before we get into today's episode of Studio Talk, don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment and subscribe to This Side at Sports TV. Please, do one more thing for us, though. Most importantly, share the video to at least 10 people to ensure to get us just six subscribers mm -hmm. because if each and every one of you guys can manage to do that do you know how many subscribers that get us by the end of the day people yes 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 how you doing my brother bro my day you know just there there i gotta take a rough life easy mm -hmm. you know as, as we do as we do but as we say we, we, we're on business we're on business that is it business. that is it obviously we're checking people as you're coming in talk to us in the comment section um, I might drop the link and, and get a few questions in the latter part of the interview. But we're here to talk to the... Obviously, you know, so time is money still. Time is money. Press for time. Time is money. Most valuable currency. People, we're here talking to the General Secretary of the Jamaica Football Federation, Mr. Dennis Chung, welcoming, welcoming him to the building. What are you doing, sir? Um, most things good. Yeah, man. Most things um, good. Um, as I said, we... we we are seeing a light at the end of the tunnel. That is it. You know, um, we've, we've, had, we've had a brief hiatus and we're trying to come back um, even bigger and stronger. We've been yeah, trying to get yeah, to Dennis Chung for a long time. We've even been on a couple of lives and say, yo, Dennis Chung is upcoming, yeah. soon to come. And, and, and Mr. Chung has made us a liar. <laughs> and we hate to be a liar. But we finally, we finally got in a hole. Well, it, has, it has been a busy time. And, and you know, guys, let me tell you something. The truth is that I've been in the media for a while, from for over 20 years. Yeah. I mean, in one way or the other, writing interviews and all of those things. And I do it because it's necessary. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, right. so <laughs> sometimes I just don't feel like... But I do it, you know? understood, understood, understood. Take a lot, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I think this is the first time we're talking to you. Um, since the turn of the year, so we have a few things yes. to talk about coming all the way from January, you know, the hiring of the head coach. Yeah, man. Prepare. But before you go, bro, mm -hmm. um, how often is it that you can line up an agenda, a campaign, you know, a, a show speaking to the member of the JFF and it not be an all-out attack? No, bro I, bro, I have no negative topics on my, on my outline. You know, I, have, I have a few, I have a few, I have a few things. I have that questions. Like to, to question. I have questions. I have no, I have no harsh criticism. I yeah, I don't have any harsh criticism. So, so prepare for, you know, a few questions to answer. First of all, um, Coach Al Smith, officially the new head coach, um, took yeah. charge of a few games. Since the turn of the year, we've had the, the two games against Trinidad and Tobago. We've had the Mexico game. Uh, from the JFF's perspective, um, how are you guys feeling about Coach Al and his performances so far? I think I think the coach has been doing well, you know. Um, you know, and this is how I judge people. Based on what they said to me that they're going to do, if they do it or they're close to it, it means that they're succeeding. Mm -hmm. yeah. At the start of the year, the coach sat down with us. Even when he when he took charge of the two matches last year, he said, Listen, don't expect any great result now right because i'm looking at the team i'm assessing the players at the start of the year he sat down with us he says listen this is my four-year plan right um initially i'm not gonna i might not get a result i want but he said that he was going to get a good result in mexico mm -hmm. he did get a good result in mexico yeah. sure for sure right and he said that listen all the preparation i'm doing now is for the gold cup right and then to qualify for copa america and he's doing that he's getting the team together um my role is to make sure that he's supported with the administration mm -hmm. i don't get involved in any technical issue right because if i'm involved in technical issues then it means that i can't hold the technical people accountable for what they produce but he's doing well yeah, you know, yeah. and I expect that we'll have a good showing at the Gold Cup. You know, so, um, so, so. Mm -hmm. on, what on what grounds did he base his assertion that he was going to do well in Mexico? <laughs> like, why? Why did? Why would he? Well, you know, you know, make such a claim. Well, it's just confidence in yourself. You know, I mean, I cycle too. 
I'm mm. a cyclist, right? I know I can say to somebody, well, listen, based on the work I'm putting in, in two months' time, this is what I'm going to produce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just a matter of having confidence in what you're doing. And that's so you know, a professional, you know? Um, because the fact that the matter is that we, you hire professionals in order for them to make predictions. Yeah. That's the only advantage a professional has over another person, you know? The ability to make predictions and meet those predictions. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting you know, and, 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 and whether the storm, I mean, when you're going through the storm, I mean, you guys know what I went through. People criticize you. Yeah. But once you have your objective in mind and you know where you're going, it will happen. You know, and you're going to have your naysayers. And I can tell you along the way, you have naysayers who will always say, and um, boy, I don't like this because I, this is a speech I gave at Rotary Club the other day. Mm -hmm. What I found, and I've been through NS7 me. Right when I took over as chairman, it was the most corrupt organization in 2015. I've gone through two administrations, the PNP and the JLP. Um, before that, I was at Jamaica Ultimate Tire Company, which is a subsidiary of JUTC, which similarly we took over making a million dollars last month. We we're three years behind in audits. I was appointed by Mike Henry and the JLP, reappointed by Omar Davis. Uh, because we turned it around in two years and we're making $3 million a month and we're up to date with our audit. Mm. I've, I was the one who divested here in Jamaica, right? And I know, so I know, one of the things I know is how change happens and change is never easy, right? And you're going to have your naysayers. And why you have your naysayers? Because most people will never see the vision of the outcome, right? Um, and you just have to ride it through. I saw a post by Wayne Chen, where his mother, Gloria Chen, and Wayne Chen, you know, is the brother, Michael Lee Chen, says, he, he quoted her as saying that, you know, as you go through life and you do what you need to do, there will always be people who are detractors. Don't listen to them. Mm -hmm. Right? And you just have to know what you can do and just go on the mission. Because guess what? You see, at the end of the day, all those people who said couldn't happen. It's like it's like with buying shares, you know. I tell people all the while when people see shares, the stock market fall, and I say, listen, no is the time I buy. Mm -hmm. I buy low because yeah. I know it must go back up. True, you know, true. so you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have the naysayers along the way, um, and that's why you remember when I started and the interviews and thing. I always said disagreement is good. I don't have a problem with that, right? Because someone disagree with me, I sleep well at night still. Right? Facts. The most important thing is to be respectful. That is Disagreement, it. fine. Just be mm -hmm. respectful about it. Mm -hmm. And you know, I can I can say that the coach, he took he has that same approach. He's a professional. He knows what he wants. He knows what his abilities are. And you know, you're gonna have people who I, I tell you something, the, the, the funny thing about what I've always found. Many of the people who are in the thing and mess it up in the first place, they're going to be the first person to criticize you and say you don't know what you're doing, even though they messed up before, you know. Yeah. They're going to be the first person to say, boy, you, you sure you know what you're doing? But but they had the thing for like years before and, you know, in, in whatever company it is, and, and they couldn't do it. All right. And, and, and to, to, to Coach Halgrimson and, and the Mexico trip, obviously, it's it's... A general consensus that Jamaica went and exceeded expectations. Yeah. We, we, we yeah. were formidable against Mexico. You know, we, we, took, we took the game to Mexico. We played Mexico as well as I've seen us play Mexico in the yeah. Azteca probably since 2012. Right? And I think that's, that's a general consensus. Um, however, from an administrative point of view, because people have asked the coach this from a technical point of view, tactical, so on and so forth. Team selection situation, right? Dujan Richards, young, young, up, 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 up and coming athlete, you know, a, a shining star, the future of Jamaican football. It's safe to say that, right? Mm -hmm. He was omitted from the, the Mexico squad. Now, obviously, I can't ask you to speak on that from a technical point of view, but from an administrative and a business point of view, what do you think um, are the implications of a, of a choice like that to omit a player of his elk? at such a young age to the business of the JFF? Well, I don't think... What affects the business of the JFF is if you win or not. 
So if we go gold cup and we come first or second, we get a good amount of prize money. Now, I always say to people, I have dogs at home. You know why I have dogs at home? Because I don't want to go outside and bark at night. Right? So sure. if someone is employed to do something, I don't think we should tell that person how to do it. What we should do is say, listen, your objective is to win this. Or your objective is to qualify. Right? However that person wants to do it, whether man or woman, allow them to do it. But if you if you if you employ someone and you are always interfering in what they're doing, you realize you can't hold them accountable. Mm. Because you are basically getting involved in what you should be holding them accountable for. So at the yeah. end of the day, the result that comes out, you have yeah. a big part to play in that. True. So, and, and, and you know, when, pe yeah, when people are talking about, you know, who is in the squad and things, yeah, yeah, yeah. that don't matter to me. The, 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 the man is a coach. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He chooses his squad because he has an accountability, right? And at the end of the day, for me, it don't matter who is in the squad. What matters to me is that he wins and produces the results. That is it. Because different people, you know, they, 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 they gel differently. I mean, you could have a person, you know, who is a great, you know, one, one of the things that, that Hal Grimson said, he said with the quality of pitches that we have, if Messi came to Jamaica, he would be an average player, right? What that says, more than just the Messi and the pitches, is that people adapt to different environments, right? You, for example, the both of you can work with the same person and get two different results. Mm -hmm. and, and that is what I think we have to allow. So when I always hear people say, boy, you know, this is the person who should be in the squad. I have... You know, you know the most the, the most correct person all the while is the armchair coach, right? The man who's sitting down and watching a game on TV and say, "Boy, why never pass the ball there?" Don't know the pressure that the person is under, you know. Don't know the circumstances. Don't know what's happening with the player, you know. And therefore, I always say, listen. When someone is employed to do something, let them do it, right? Um, because. Once you, if you don't do that, you actually stymie the progress that the person can make. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, I, I mean... So essentially yeah. you're saying that you, Mr. Chung, and other members of the JFF administration has absolutely no say or, or has no impact in, in the type of squad that, that, that Mr. Hargrimson has. No, 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 no. He, chooses, he chooses his squad. From time to time, you know, people will send me a video and I will just send it on with no comment. I'll just send the video, right, with no comment. Right. At the end of the day, it is the job of the coach to choose who he wants to do what he wants. You understand what I'm saying? All right. So far, obviously, it's still early, but um, has there been a point so far where, you know, the, administra the administration of the JFF questioned their decision of Coach Algibson? Obviously, still early, but those two things that no, no, not 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 that right. time I wear off, not that time I wear off. Right, and you you personally um, never never doubted him for a second to this point. No, 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 no. I mean, he's delivering on everything he said he's delivering, you know. Um, so there's nothing to doubt. Yeah, and we here we are fans. We are fans of the appointment first of all. Yeah. We are fans of what we're seeing so far. We're seeing a lot of promise. Obviously, we're seeing you know the future building while we're still trying to achieve something now because one thing we like and I can speak a bit on it the involvement of youth in the squad you know in the in the Trinidad and Tobago and even you know I think yeah. going forward we will be seeing a lot of 19 year olds and some 20 years and 21 you know that's the that's a lot of the that's the age of a lot of the players in the squad um, is there a deliberate effort from the JFF yeah, and from the team to make that yeah, well, well, think, well, well, but, yeah but think about this right the World Cup is in 2026, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is three years' time. Right. Right? The best players in the World Cup are always about what age? About 21, right? 
Not this year. The best, the best player in the World Cup this year was a, 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 a phenomenal 30, 36 yeah, No, no, but that, that's what. That, no, that's why I said best. That's why I said best players. Oh, like a, a team. Yeah, like a team. The right? team is usually young. The, the team is the, usually young. Right. Young so therefore, it makes sense to focus on the young people, no? Right? You understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's how I look at it logically. Because if so you, you if you the emphasis from the administration towards no 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 I I I'm not saying that I'm just looking at it from my perspective. Okay, okay. You know, from a logical point of view, to me, if I'm preparing, so if you notice, there's always a mix, right? I'm preparing for the Gold Cup, which is coming up in two months' time. Mm -hmm. I'm preparing for Copa next year, so you're going to have different age ranges. But if you, you're also preparing from now for World Cup in 2026, which means that you have to introduce the younger people into the team too, right? Mm -hmm. Because three years' time in football is a long time, you know? For sure. Right? Yeah, yeah man. Um, switching gears. Tell us, now, before we move on, so consider one more question. Off the, off the books, because I'm a very, you know, a mad person. So I'm like, take it go someplace where it's it not necessarily yeah. planned for that. Um, of the, the young elk, you know, the, the, the young core, we see the Lemby Keysers, the Hutchins and so on and so forth, Tyler Roberts, so on and so forth, all 19 year olds, Dijon Richards. Who is there, like, Dennis Chung's three favorite young guns going forward into the, into the next generation? I don't, have no I don't have no favorite. <laughs> That's not true, Mr. Chung. You're lying to us and you're an honest man. Everybody have them favorites. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, have, no, I don't have no favorite. The favorite for me is the man who will win the game. So, so whoever is scoring the goal that goes at that point in time, that's your favorite. Yeah, man, that's my favorite. <laughs> Are you okay with that answer, Rush? Is that usually I'm one of his words, so I, I'll take it over here. <laughs> if that's what they said, I'll take it. But I think you have a favorite. What, what, I, what I'll tell you though. Before we move on, wait, that... Rush, before we move on, you're a true favorite at the young core. Right, right now, off the top. Right now, I can tell you. Let me kiss and do the chat Omar Ottins. I can tell you off the top. Off the top. Off the top. My, my three favorite are Kanye and Boy Scott, Lemby Keys and Dijon Richards. So that's that, 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 that my three. You see how we have with three, Mr. Chung? Or we'll put them on yeah, the man. Come give it three yeah, man. That, 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 that's good. I, I just, whoever score and play good is my favorite. <laughs> All right. And switch gears now. All right. As a Gensec, a part of your job is obviously to secure these and make sure you are, you are there in the, in the, you know, the day to day and paperwork of all these deals. Tell yeah. us about some of the deals that you've managed to close so far. Yeah, in less than a year. The, the, the names? Yeah, the names and the nature of the, of the business. Yeah, and whether it was hard to close or not, whether they were interested or you approached them. Yeah, so they have a, they have a few, um, like, you know, one of the ones we're working on is the man. The truth is that the coach would have looked at quite a few of them, right? Um, and he was able to get 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 some guys over, um, Omari Hutchinson, for example, right? Um, and and it, it continues, you know. Um, I don't want to call yeah. any more names, you know, given the fact that. The no, no. Man, Mr. Mr. Chung, when I, when I reached the say tonight, I think you probably misheard. We we're talking about um, administratively some of the business deals, like some of the sponsorship and the partnerships that, that you oh, have managed to oh, oh. engage JFF with. Some things that you've managed to close over the last six months or so. Speak to us about, about the nature yeah. of, of those businesses that you conducted. You know, was it these businesses right. that our opportunities saw Leon Daly and said, okay, I want to work with JFF? Or was it Mr. Chung with his perspicacity deciding to go forward and, and attack these, these ventures? Speak to us about the names, as I as said, the yeah. names of some of these deals that you've gotten, the sponsorship, and how you managed to acquire them for us. All right. So um, we have been fortunate over the past few months. It has been a, a tough time to convince people. Um, but, you know, we always had water with us. We think and they have deepened their sponsorship. Um, Stewart's Jamaica, of course, you know, they have also provided us with a lot more support. Um, the SDF is there, right? Um, 
but we've also managed to close some other ones, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and that's um, I started with a small one, um, a small pharmacy in Portmore actually approached us called First Choice and they provide all the medical equipment that they can. So we'll make the request for them and they provide the medical e equipment um, products that go with the team. So, you know, big up to them. Um, Grace Kennedy is providing you know, all with all the, the groceries that we need that they can provide for the camps, right? Um, Courts Jamaica, you know, is now coming on. I mean, they announced a cash sponsorship as well as they're giving us some products to help us refurbish um, the Captain Horace um, Burrell Center. Um, mm -hmm. We have IRFM <clears throat> that came on and provided us with cash and also a multi million dollar. Um, advertising spots, mm. you know. Um, we have some others that we're, 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 we're talking to now. And we had two overseas people um, that came out with some small things. We have, we, have some, we have some other people that we're talking to right now, right? Can't call the names yet because we're talking to them. Um, but we have been able to secure some persons. And remember, I've just been... I've just been there for two, about seven months now. Yeah. Seems like I seven years, <laughs> but it's seven months. So it's not a long time, you know, um, but we've been able to close some of those. And the work that has been done internally, I think has been paying off. It's, it's, listen, everything is not perfect yet, but we're working on it. For the first time in many years, J J um, JFF actually has a tax compliance certificate. Right, and that's a big, big deal. Yeah, it's all like that, um, that's for, something that you're proud of. Yeah, man, yeah, man. That one is a big, 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 big deal. Right. Um, um, we have in in terms of our our, our financials, you know, and the the financial governance. We're looking much better with that. We actually have a consultant from FIFA who is helping us with the processes, making a lot of progress there. Right. Um. And then the Adidas deal has been a big thing for us, yeah. mm -hmm. you know. So in another year, if we continue on this path, we're looking at a very different JFF from a governance point of view yeah. and a financial point of view, right? Yeah. Um, remember that where we're coming from is a, is a huge deficit, right? So everything is not going to be perfect immediately. And as I say, it's just seven months I'm there, right? Um, because there are a lot of legacy issues that we have to deal with. But certainly, I think that where we are, um, it is improving. Would I love to see greater improvement? Sure, right? But there are issues that you have to deal with, which are legacy issues, right? right? And therefore, you have to just be patient you know and, um and, go ahead and not, not, not to cut you uh, my apologies but you speak about legacy issues and that's something that i want to touch on now i just yeah. heard you um bombard us with a, a myriad of, of 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 different businesses different types of businesses from different different sex you know different parts of society all appealing to different niches mm -hmm. all managing to um to to associate themselves with jamaican football right some you'd have said you 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 would have started out Others would have been attracted to you guys, and and you know made 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 pitches to come and sponsor our program. My question, tying it back to the legacy issues, is why is it that we weren't for the past, I would say, campaign and a half, four to six years? What would you say would have inhibited us from being as marketable as we have been in the past? Well, seven? you know, and you know, you know, say I won't comment on that, right? <laughs> No, but you can, just look, you can just tell us what you have done differently. Yeah, like, because we that video. Because you, you just mentioned legacy issues. And I assume you rectifying the ability or lack thereof to get sponsorship mm -hmm. is a legacy issue. That you, that, that's one of the issues that you'd say that yeah. will stem from well, issues that you're rectifying. Well, well you know, know that the first thing for me, right, is you'll know that when I started in this job, um, I indicated that I was going to be very transparent. Yeah. Right. And I was out there a lot on the media. Right. To try and let people understand. I wasn't trying to convince people. 
but just to let them understand that these are the things that we want to do right and then you judge us based on that right so the transparency and reaching out to the public i think was very very important right um but of course as i said the governance issues that helps us internally and particularly from the the financial consultant and there are some board members who actually are very good at governance also right that chip in and help um and i would have had to as you know deal with a lot of the things that were being said about jff some of them were far from the truth mm. but i was on the front burner and i was talking about it and you know i'm not afraid to take the leaks i take the leaks because i know right and 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 you know also that if something is so i am going to say it is so right. i don't hide from it because at the end of the day i have nothing to hide so i'm going to tell you what the situation is and i believe that in communication it's very important to be transparent about things very important to be open right and tell people what you're going to do and th that's how you actually um build credibility right when you tell people that listen or lose credibility if you say this is what i stand for and people see that that is what you do if you say this is what i stand for and people see that you don't do that then you lose credibility fast yeah right and that's what a lot of people don't understand so we've just been transparent we've just been ensuring that we put in the proper governance i mean one of the things you'll see with me also is that when the teams are going on friendlies and so i don't travel mm -hmm. you know <laughs> um i i i keep myself quiet because yeah, i don't see yeah. where i'm going to add more, more value i'm not a coach that's so imp that's so <laughs> important know? to me and that's something that we would have harped upon i know that it's probably not your place to say but me and rush really don't care We've always had an issue with, with, with the, the, the extent of the delegation. Not even the size of the delegation, but the, the roles and, and what exactly they Well, I can't, I, I, can't, I can't comment on that, you know. Now we understand, now we understand. Yeah. I, yeah. I, assume, yeah. I assume that's such. But what I still don't want to get away from, and, and as you said, they can't comment on it, maybe that's so, what is my job to beat the drum. There must be a reason why we just I get hundreds of thousands obviously being a bit hyperbolic sponsorship coming on board in the last six months and for the last 10 years since um captain Harris, you know captain Harris Burrell has stepped away from the program let me put it to you let me put it to you tell me one big difference or one big change that has happened in the last seven months or the last 10 months no but besides the, the, the appointment of the new gen set the appointment, yeah but there has to be something that the new gen set yeah. has done to attract such sponsors that we haven't seen yeah, since well, the likes well, of Horace Burrell. And that may I try to get to yeah, the bottom of Yeah, well, the team, I, I think the team at JFF has been working well. You know, um, there are some people there, some great people there. And I think that some people, they, they were suppressed in terms of, you know, uh, making a mark. And... Yeah. It's, it's really just working with the team because there's there's some very good people there you know um so i don't i don't i, I you know I, i'm not a man who take credit for those things i just want the job done and at the end of the day when the job done i will just go ride my bicycle into the sunset you know mm -hmm. <laughs> i have an interesting question when when you guys see us on youtube or even the traditional media report you know some things whether we hear it to you know the grapevine or whatever or directly from if we say directly from somebody in the JFF, how often, you know, are we correct? You know, how often you look at some of the things that report and say, oh, where them get this from? This is nonsense. Or are we most times? Yeah, a, lo a lot of the times, a lot of the times, I can tell you, a lot of the times you are not correct. Mm. Um, I I'm not saying that what you're saying um, doesn't have some relationship to something. Yeah. But a lot of the times, what is reported is not correct. But I understand, you know, that, that people want news out there and the passion about the JFF, you know. And I know that these things would happen. As I said to people all the while, if you and somebody have a relationship and they curse you out all the while, 
you're good because it means I'm still talking to you. You see, when they stop talking to you, that's when you have a problem, right? Yeah, so man, I don't have a problem. Argue, that means I still have a relationship. For yeah, man. But when she stop talking to you, yeah, man, you have a problem. So for me, I believe it is very important for people to vent, right? I know that a lot of times, though, what is being said out there is not correct. Mm. Right? Um, and sometimes it does take a little research to find out what is really happening. You know, and, and don't don't forget, to, you know, a lot of people will come and say things to you with additional motives. Yeah. They will say it because they don't like a person or they have an issue with something. Mm. It is the responsibility of persons who are getting the information out there to check it and, and say, boy, what is happening here? Mm-hmm. Right? I think that, that is critical. And, 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 and I don't see nothing wrong with this agreement, as I said. Be respectful about it. When I draw the line, I'll give you an example. I mean, a well-known journalist was on a, a well-known um, platform talking about, because apparently he saw that people were supporting me, right, on, on, on social media. And he go he, he goes on and he goes on on his radio program and says that the reason why people support him is because I'm brown. That for me is just racially charged. You know, that's them coming say you and you know who I'm talking about, right? No, you no, just don't you make... hear that story there? No. I, I didn't I didn't hear that one. I'm not abreast that, that, that that one. You have yeah, to man. Give more yeah, man. Um and I'm like, how can somebody say something like that in this that's day and age? And and, and an established media platform. It's mm-hmm. not even like a social media ch- um, channel, you know. But Mr. Chung, to be fair, it's not like you're much browner than anybody else, Mr. Chung. No, which which <laughs> which, which, which show that this is the, 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 the man the man crazy on top of everything. Yes, some, right. some, some, some ulterior motives then behind that comment. Yeah, it just it just it just stupid. It just a stupid comment. So that person can't talk to me. No, I tell you that. There's no way. I, there's no way I would have a conversation with that person right now. But but generally, as, as it relates to the work that's being done, especially with sponsorship and and yeah. um and the additional income and support that we've been getting from corporate and public Jamaica, is important and and you know. Thumbs up for that. Kudos for that situation. And we want we want to see for sponsors. And as it, and with their stadium, we want the advertisement board go straight around the park. Not advertisement yeah, boards in one yeah, section. Man. Not advertisement boards right behind the goal, but straight around the park, you know. I remember days back in my time. Obviously, you know, some are big and old right now. Back in <laughs> back in my time, I remember going to the national stadium and seeing these massive inflatable um like coca-cola bottles I, I, i'm not sure i don't remember you know these massive um inflatable things with water and all of the other sponsors that yeah. we had once yeah. upon, air jamaica so on and so forth like, i remember those being staples of my reggae boy experiences them time now could i get more than fifteen thousand people in the stadium how are we yeah. going to how are we going to get back jamaican football to a time and i'm not talking about 98 when there was thirty thousand people I'm talking about in my time when there was ten to fifteen thousand people. Now we're at a time where if we get five thousand people in the national lot. stadium, it's a lot. How do we get back to a point in Jamaica's football before we move on? Because we're talking about branding and promotion and sponsorship, so on and so forth. How do we get Jamaican football back to a point where there are um, floats in the stadium where we can turn on the, the jumbotron and we can have have the, the, the bleachers, yeah. you know, majority well, full? Like how we get back there? I- I answer in two ways. Number one <clears throat> is that I think we're getting back there where we'll have a lot more interest because the truth is that in order for people to come out and support something, they have to believe in it. And, you know, in 98, for example, people believed 
in the reggae boys yeah. you know um and i think once people believe and people support you and people find credibility in what you're doing people will support you right mm -hmm. so i think that we're getting there the, the other thing though and and why i said that the girls match that we had in the uk the other day we actually and this is another thing i'm proud of we have launched the jff youtube channel mm -hmm. i saw it recently we saw we were, right? we were watching the game on it the other day right and it's over twenty-one thousand persons from outside of the uk was watching that match you know mm -hmm. and this is a women's football match right against sheffield united right um the last match we had against trinidad at the stadium we had over thirty thousand persons on youtube watching it from overseas yeah that shows yeah. the interest shout out, shout out to mg sports yeah man that sh and sh big up to him because he he offered to do it for us free of course mm -hmm. well nothing right. life is free so you know i'm I'm, I'm, I'm sure you would have been you know um compensated yeah i'm sure he made fight. some money off of it right yeah. um but it never cost us yeah right and i think that that has shown us a new way that from a social media perspective we have an audience and we are pushing that youtube channel so in terms of our matches coming up we think that that might be the preferred way of airing the matches you know just putting it out on youtube yeah. right um the other sure, thing I that believe, we're... i believe that especially um on the new jff jff youtube page this is a, a great yeah for income you know yeah, that, that yeah. Can be, and if so, the match is not nationally televised by let's say concacaf or let's say you know obviously i, I reckon the nation's league has its um carrying rights by somebody else and the gold cup so on and so forth but friendly is arranged by the jff yeah yeah say. like why we, not, we're, we're gonna know, yeah man that's what we're gonna do we're gonna hear them on our youtube channel right when when you think about another thing i'm very proud of that we're able to do you saw the launch of our website yeah right which we, we've been working on for a few months and we we'll put a lot into it right so and, and and the instagram page has been doing very well in fact my assistant was at a social media seminar on saturday you know which which social media page i use as an example of a well-run page the jff instagram channel right, no bad. right so so people are recognizing it and i think the team that we have i'm very proud of what they've done you know sure. in putting all of these things in place so you're gonna see jff having a lot more visibility out there right we have the youtube channel we have the website we have our sponsors we're working through right um the technical staff is doing well i mean you talk about the 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 the, the, the senior boys and the senior women because the senior women i mean trust me they're very good right yeah. but did you see the tenacity of the under 20 girls the other day yeah, man, that's a good, good under twenty team. You know, we have some really good, good players on that but team. Apart from the fact that they're good, they left everything on the field, you know. Yeah. That is a, a a spirit that I think is coming back, and that's what we want to encourage. Because as I tell people all the while, football is not about us, me and you. You know, it's about the young man who have a dream. Who want to go somewhere who wants to take his parents out of poverty yeah. that's what football is about and that is what we have to make football about yeah. right so we have to spread it and that that's that's the only objective i have you know to make sure that um the jff plays its part in doing that you know getting boys to work up getting them contracts you know bringing that brand value to jamaica i go in the adidas store the other day in Times Square. You know what the hottest selling item they say is in the Adidas Square, the Jamaican kitchen. 
in Times Square, the hottest selling yeah. item in that store. They say as soon as things come on the rack, it leaves. Nice, nice, nice. And and, and right. speaking about to segue from the jersey thing, and this has to be the last More thing. More about with the jerseys. Branding. Yeah, to do segue. We, do we benefit from the sale of jerseys? I just want yeah, we get, we get we get twenty percent on all sales. That is twenty percent, No, and that's not good. Remember, yeah, Adidas, yeah. I make the jerseys and Adidas, yeah. I ship them. The only thing we do is get free jerseys and I play, you know, and we still like, get twenty yeah. percent on all sales. That's very good. That's very good. And um, people have been, been 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 speaking about this, and 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 this is just me being an ambassador for the people. Um, to you, because I know that generally, even with big big countries like Argentina, we see where they play friendly games and World Cup qualifiers where there are no names on the back of the jersey. We see it, even with Argentina, we see where that's a case where they, they play World Cup qualifiers with no names on the back of the jersey. But people want to know, why are Jamaica, why are Jamaica teams playing friendlies and World Cup qualifying games without names on the back of the jersey? And don't you think that would then help branding? All right, the reason for that, to be honest with you, and I've said it before, many times we're going away and the gears do not come on time. Mm. We have to be rushing, right? So one of the deficiencies we've had with the contract is that the gears have been arriving late. We've just received two containers, right? And we should be good now, right? Because by next week, well, one of them is, I think is cleared already. And by next week, the other one will be cleared and we will have enough time now to print it, to put on the names and everything. So that's really the only reason. There, there you go. Right, there. People have to the comments so, 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 so the, the, the trip, the, the, the trip to, to, to Europe in a, in a few weeks, the, 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 the 23 or 26 numbers will be associated all with names. Yes, that, 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 that should be the case. All right, that sounds good. All right, let's talk about that, that trip coming up we're going to play qatar and jordan in a few yeah um tell us about tell us about the deal that we're at the, the, the partnership or the, or the relationship brother with the, the middle, middle eastern East. countries you know we see jamaica going to saudi and playing you know we, we played qatar in the last gold cup they were here for gold cup and now they're here again talk to us about that relationship i don't think it's any special relationship you know we get the deal and we'll take the deal and we'll play yeah coach said boy yeah, okay. yeah i played those teams you know, our speak agent to works about, on it. About getting, mm -hmm. Speak to us about getting those two friendlies. Because me, I've been saying this more so than anybody else. Um, Jamaica, we got our backs against the wall. Let's just say we're behind the eight ball. Going into the Azteca, needing a win to qualify for the Nations League finals, right? So we're all under the impression that chances are we would not secure qualification to Vegas in a few months. Mm -hmm. And I think we're all, we're all, um, we all accepted that. We weren't yeah. going to get a win in the, in the Azteca, even though we did come closer than anybody expected. Mm -hmm. I was of the notion that, yes, we're not going to be in Vegas, but what we need to be doing during those two days, while USA, Mexico and Canada, Panama are playing for the Nations League, we should have friendlies during that period of time. And it, it continued getting closer and closer to June, and I, I was not hearing anything. And I was like, JFF, Mr. Chung, Mr. Ricketts, please listen to me and listen to me closely. We need friendlies in June before the, before the Gold Cup. It is, in, it is imperative, right? Saw the news a couple of days ago, and I was like, all right, they're listening. Or maybe they're not listening. Maybe they're just... No, they're no, no, yeah, maybe but, but, yeah, no. Me, if you know, so no, no, that. no, yeah. no, guys. But guys, listen, you know, I told you, you know, the coach laid out in January to, to us when he wants to play, you know. Mm -hmm. So the coach said, listen, these, this is when I want to play the games. Yeah. And he has specific dates that he wants to play them on. Yeah, and he knew whether it was the Nations League or not. He wanted to be playing two games in June. On, on the 15th yeah, yeah. to the 20th. Yeah. So, that's just the bottom line. I mean, as I said, I'm administration. And if the coach said, this is what I want, our job is to ensure that he gets it within the resources that we have. You know, or within, within reasonableness. So is it, is, it that, is it that Qatar and Jordan were teams in, let's say, the, the, um, we talk about this, in comparison on the level of skill and talent to Jamaica, one country is lower ranked, one country is about similarly team. ranked. Is, are those the type of friendlies that you guys, that, that Coach Hargrim no, said that well, wanted well, to get? 
Yeah, well, we, we present the options to him. And he says, this is what I want to do. Because, you see, he knows his players best, you know. Mm -hmm. And he knows what he wants to do. I mean, it's like last year, for example, the coach said to us, boy, I don't want, because he was just starting the job, he said, listen, I don't want to be playing any hard games. I want some easy games at start. Why? Because he says he wants to build the confidence mm -hmm. of the team. So remember, this is a professional coach, you know. He took Iceland to the World Cup. He took them to the Euro Finals, right? Yep. How many people in the armchair have done that? Not he many. has done it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if he says, listen, guys, this is what I want. Who am I to question him? All right. All right. Another thing that he may have wanted leading up to the Gold Cup, will there be a, will there be a summer camp in America? I'm assuming that will be the case. And how long will it be for? Just so the fans know what's going on. Leading up to the Gold Cup? Mm -hmm. that, meaning, meaning right after the friendly. So I, mean, I wouldn't even say leading up to the Gold Cup, starting on the 13th of June. Mm -hmm. I don't, is it a case where the players are going to go to Austria, is it? And then leave, break camp, and then come back close to the Gold Cup? Or will there be a camp starting on, let's say, the 12th or the 13th of June and go straight back to the Gold Cup? The last Gold Cup we saw where that administration would have managed to, to get us a good little camp in South Florida. And that, that helped. You know, I think... Yeah, man. So, so, so I, think, I think what he's doing is when he leaves Austria, he's just going to go down to um, the US. That is and it. then just play the Gold Cup, yeah. All right. Let's talk about our girls, the reggae girls. We love our reggae girls. Um, you think you love them more than me? I don't know how much you love them. I know I love them a lot. I think I love them more than I was the one to bring them up in the conversation, so <laughs> <laughs> talk about the reggae girls. Um from a JFF perspective, I'm how are you guys feeling about the reggae girls and their chances in the World Cup? But let me, let me tell you something. I'm so proud of the girls. The mm. the senior girls, the under twenty girls, you know, and it, I'm I'm really proud of them. The girls have done Jamaica proud. Very, very proud. Right? Mm -hmm. And that's why we put in the effort that we do with the girls. Right. Right? We put a lot of effort into the girls. Because these girls have done very well. No other CFU team has gone to work up twice, much less back to back. Right. That's a significant accomplishment. For sure. You know? Um and therefore, you know, we're we're very, very proud of the girls. I mean Jamaica is of course one of the top countries in the world in terms of women's football, right? Um, remember, you know, once they make it to the World Cup, it's 32 countries out of 200 and something. Mm -hmm. Right, and they've done it twice. Right. right? That's a that's a significant accomplishment. Oh yeah, um, for so, sure. So we're we're very proud of them. Was that target given to the coach? Was that target given to Coach Larry Dennis now? This is the result we need. We need to go and get three points. We need to go and challenge for to come out of the group stage. Um, was there a target or are we just happy to make it to the World Cup this time? Um, I don't know if a target being given. Of course, what I want to do is win. <laughs> you know? Might be a stretch. Um, Might be. I, don't, I, don't, I don't think we're there yet, you know. Honestly. As a fan, obviously, I'd love for us to, to lift this. No, no, I no. Realistic. Okay, but, you know, I, I, think, I think the girls are going to do well. Mm -hmm. You know, I think the girls are going to go there and I think the girls are going to do well, you know. Um, the fact that they've made it, you know, is, is very significant, <laughs> you know, and we, we really need to be proud of them for that. Somebody said something to me the other day, and I, I'm going to put it here and see what you would say. They are saying to me that Adidas really came to Jamaica because of the reggae girls and their success. A lot of people would, would, would think that, yeah, this was because of the boys. Obviously, we have some marquee names, you know, the Leon Bale, the Mikel Antonio's, you know, top footballers. But they're saying the reggae girls make it to back to back World Cups. Maybe Adidas is here for them. Yeah, what do you have to say about that? No, I think, personally, what I think, and if you look at how Adidas has positioned the brand, Adidas came to Jamaica because of Jamaica. Mm. If you look at how they have positioned the thing, they have brought the culture of the country into it, yeah. right? They brought a designer in 
to design it so it, it embodies the soul of Jamaica. But I think Jamaica is why Jamaican roots, right? Huh? I think this, this, the designer has Jamaican roots. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Has Jamaican roots. So I think the attractiveness of the brand is what we don't understand. Obviously, the success of the girls, I think, was a huge thing, right? Um, but I think the primary thing was the girls, obviously. I mean, I think the girls would have been the biggest drawing card from a team perspective. Mm -hmm. But the Jamaica brand, think about it. Look at the ads that they have. Look at how they have positioned the jerseys. Um, they make the home and they make the, the, the away, but they also have a wide range of other casual wear. Right. right? So Jamaica, I think, is it? We, I don't think in this country, you know, we don't realize how big Jamaica is, you know. When you go overseas, right? Uh, when I went to Qatar, for example, where Jamaica is not in the World Cup, I carried three jerseys and everybody wanted one of them. Jamaica is a huge, huge brand. We mm -hmm. have just failed as a country to capitalize on that brand. Right. We have failed to do that because when you think about our sports, not just football, but track and field and all of that, our tourism product and our music, you tell me, have we earned the amount of money that we should have been earning from all of those three things? No. No. Not at all. It's a big, big brand. Mm -hmm. All right. It, it, I'm on the reggae girls right now, so I'm going to double down. Khadija Shaw, one of the best footballers. Is she the greatest Jamaican footballer of all time? Um, I don't I don't know if I can say that. Um. Certainly, the best women's footballer no, that, that we've seen. Been that conversation has been close for about close. four or five years. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. yeah. I, um, I'm, of, I'm of the firm belief, you know, and I've championed her cards for the past year. I mean, it's pushback, you know, against controversy, you know. Joe, Ma Joe Mara, idiot. How can you compare the slow woman football to the big strong man, them? You know, um, I'm not going to say those people are misogynistic, I'll leave that there. But <laughs> I've been saying with all my might that Khadija Shah is the best Jamaican to ever put on a pair of cleats and play in that national stadium as a reggae person. And I'm asking Mr. Chum, the General Secretary, do you share my beliefs? Do I have some backative in that regard? No, I can't. I, I mean, the best, the best footballer. The yeah. best Jamaican, not, not the best, the best footballer, because obviously she's not the best footballer. Is she the no greatest best Jamaican? Is she footballer? the greatest Jamaican footballer? The greatest Jamaican footballer. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I can say that yet. I mean, you know, you've had some real greats in the past, and and you know what we must remember too is that you know when I think about the the players that we've had in the past, even another and skill skill call, right? Yeah, that's somebody um, that you a lot of times. Yeah, and Arthur Latimore. You know, I know a lot of the great players from Ali McNabb, Lindy Della Pena. Right? What more, what more Lindy can, what more can this woman do? What more can yeah, this yeah, yeah, but, woman do? But, 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 but one thing I always say, you know, I mean, yeah. no doubt, um, Bonnie is, is, is great, right? Sure. But, you know, one thing I always say, remember that we live. So, so for example, when you look at sprinting, right? What Merlin Atty and Don Quarry did to break those barriers and Herb McKinley is remarkable. And you know what? Them. You know what the runners? You know what the runners have over them today? There is more access to international contracts. Mm. There, no, there is more globalization. I'm they're telling fat. you. No, but they're fat. They're, they're f access are not international contracts are not. They're still running faster times. Like the world record for yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, 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 but people, yeah, but people progress, right? Which is people why will always that, that because, because, listen, people will always progress because of science, and right? Science if you are, yes, but, but, but what I'm saying, no, what I'm saying is that I look, for example, at 
um in cycling right yeah you look at those guys first time like a eddie Merckx, right the times nowadays are better you know but those guys remember you know the pioneers who break down the barriers would have had more resistance you know mm-hmm. right so when you look at the early sprinters the merlin Otti, for example you know what merlin Otti? i mean what she has done yeah and, and it's important what you have done with what you're given you know that's something yes. what I th- what exactly I th- exactly yeah. the, the, the support the financial support that track and field gets today is way way less than what it was before you know right and yeah so you have to look at things from that perspective right i mean the people talk about footballers for example you you know what pele went through as a black man in the 1950s and 1960s so Mr. Chung, pele is the perfect example you alluded to pele still winning yeah. a remarkable amount of world cups and scoring a thousand goals which is why back then or now his numbers and his achievements are still comparable to anybody who has ever done it as compared to yeah, the yeah. Back yeah then, but some people are saying no people fast. are saying no boy yeah but people are saying no boy messi is the best or ronaldo is the best oh, messi is the greatest still <laughs> no, i don't think so i don't think so i don't think so but that's a that's a conversation for another time yeah, yeah man, I understand what you're saying, and you're, you're giving the, the level of resistance, you're giving that the people that face that are, are, are so it's more uh, equity yeah, rather than it's, equality. It's, it's equity, yeah. it's what they had to yeah. do to be great versus what the, the athletes now have to do. To exactly, be. exactly. You, 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 you watch your early games with Pele, the amount of times they kick him down, and the racial abuse, and that sort of thing. The resistance, I understand what you're saying, man, with the resistance, but. <laughs> And his, and his question, I'm trying to put up on the spot for you, say, Kenny Joshua the greatest. I don't quite agree with him yet, so I understand why you don't want to answer. <laughs> could it, but I'm going to make him go around with that one. Could, could it be that Russia is, you know, the big M word, I don't know, Russia fight out the woman, then that's why I'm saying like, the woman, the more than you, bro. I can't go with the one there, bro. But again, that is a conversation different I think, I think, I think the, 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 the women footballers in Jamaica have done us really, really proud. Oh my gosh. Um, they have been holding the flag high. In terms of football in Jamaica and the Caribbean, for sure. You know. So great. All right. So there are a few players I want to ask about. Obviously, it's up to you whether you want to answer or not. This, this was. You remember you had a, a slight misunderstanding earlier when I spoke to you about sponsorship and you were speaking about players. No, yeah, we're yeah. at the player section because obviously we had to get here, Mister Chung. That's one of the, the the reasons. That's one of the reasons why why we wanted to talk to you because a, a international football time again, and regardless of the time of the year. Regardless of the month, regardless of the day, regardless of the season, it's my favorite time of the yeah, year. Yeah, we love the reggae boys. You get me and, and, and that time is coming up now. We have a tournament, and I really think we're in for a chance at winning this Gold Cup coming up. But in order to win, you know, I think we can use a bit of bolstering, you know, a bit of a bit always, of postering, you know, a bit of additions. And there are a few people, a few Jamaicans, that just haven't been certified as Jamaicans yet, and. I know that you're the admin guy, so I want to speak to you about the process. Yeah. Be more specific. All right. So there are some names we're going to throw out there and talk to us. Is it done? Is it not done? Are you guys just talking to them? They are agree. Is one. it done? Is it not done? Is it doing? Yeah. Because fa- if it's under, right. if it's the under only way. one, the only one I'm going to comment on by name is Demari and said to you that his thing is almost complete. Yeah. Right. Com- will it be complete for the Gold Cup? I am told definitely yes, right? Definitely because it, 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 it's it's in Jamaica, so it's been processed here. All right, we All right. love that. We love that. All right, Mister Gray. You, you think we push it out? Yes, bro. Push right. it. Push it until him shut up. So push it until him run away. So we are. Not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not confirming any other names, right? But what I can say to you <laughs> is that the ones being worked on are all all, all almost complete. Well, all right. So is oh, there's this. One I'm really important. I came out recently and and um we have a special interest in this one. Yeah man, especially me being an Arsenal man. He he almost won us the Premier League. You get me I say? I'm sure you know who I'm about to mention. One Reese Nelson. You know a youngster of our age group, a player that, that we've seen come on and score. Yeah, but I tell you, I'm not gonna comment. 
I tell you, I'm not going to comment on any other name. But, 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 Arsenal, 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 Gunners, Gunners, all weekend. We're Matter of fact, for the past two, for the we're past not, five weekends. We're not talking about Arsenal. Give us a break. We beg you. We're talking about Mr. Nelson. Come on and score massive goals, massive contributions. Come out straight out and say, oh, I'm Jamaican. Have we reached out? If we've reached out? Yeah. And, and please let what? me tell you, you know, before you answer. If it is a case where the JFF hasn't reached out to Reels Nelson, you know that, you know, we'd be remiss. That's negligent. I, I, I am not going to confirm or not. What I'm going to say to you is that the coach has reached out to who he thinks is fitting for his squad. All right, <laughs> all right. All right. Um, oh, yeah, but and, and all right. So, so considering that we've, we've spoken about the ones that... And Mr. Chung is not uh, let us, letting us in. Fine, fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. We're, we're, job. we're not carrying a hard feelings, really. Yeah. You hear me what I said? Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. But Jonathan Russell... Lemby Kisa, yeah. Omar Hutchinson, yep. our, our three players, and then Kanai West Clark, which is weird. I want to talk to you about that one as well. But Jonathan Russell, Omar Hutchinson, Lemby Kisa, three players that have been injected into our system and have made an impact immediately, managing to get, get, get us a big result. Um, obviously, not Omar Hutchinson didn't make the trip to the Azteca, which is curious in my opinion. But Lemby Kisa, Jonathan Russell, speak to us about, about what it took when the JFF extended interest and what it took to get those guys to fully commit to being ready boys, both of Listen, them let me tell you something. Out. Let me tell you something. From day one, or even before the coach came here, he started building a database on all Jamaican-related players worldwide, you know? Yeah. So this is not something that does crop up. He recognized all Jamaican players. He has a huge database of Jamaican players around the world, right? And he has been doing his scouting, right? So it's not something that come up, right, you know, it, it immediately. This is something that he has been working on. And that's why I said that the approach of the coach is very deliberate. He knows what he's doing. And, and what's impressive to me is, is, is the age of Lemby Keys, Hutchinson, and Jonathan Russell. Three players mm. who immediately fit into our senior team, but can almost represent us at the youth levels. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. Obviously, you say you don't, don't have anything to do with team selection or whatever, but there's clearly an emphasis being placed on the youth. Do you think Mr. Hargrimson is, is deliberately going into the, um, the, the diaspora and targeting young players with Jamaican descent? And maybe these are just the best. Maybe the best players are just... Yeah, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think the coach is, is, is exploring all possibilities from all over the world. You know, wherever the talent is, mm -hmm. he's going to look for the talent. Because remember, his objective is to build a, a winning team. You know, so I think, I think that's what he's doing. Yeah. Well, we definitely love the Lemby Kisa and the Omar Hutchinson. I think Lemby Kisa is our wing back for the future. We still, you know, the like of Ben Johnson or Max Arons, we can't fight still in us. So, mm -hmm. You know, so just I throw some names out there, but you, you'd know better than me, right? <laughs> um, Omar Hutchinson didn't make the trip to the Azteca. Yeah. At first, I didn't think much of it, but after, after, after thinking a lot, probably now I'm thinking too much of it, and it's dangerous, the, the path that I'm about to go down, but I'm a dangerous guy. He was available for the two friendlies against Chirin that then suddenly became unavailable for the, the, the fixture try in, in Mexico, which would then render him il eligible to play for any other country ever again for the rest of his life. Is that a coincidence or is that a, a worry of I yours? Don't that... I, I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't answer that. Fair, fair answer. Um, yeah. Mr. Chung, yeah, we have it for, for our hour so far. We thank you for coming and, and gracing us with your presence and talking to us. I think you're, you've been pretty transparent. If you're not answering, you're not going around. You just say, nah, answer. I respect it. Yeah. Um, so, thanks for passing to Thank you for talking to us. Um, hopefully, we can. So, wait, you. one more thing. So, so Reese Nelson is a. Uh, like, like, you're not. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Shall I go back real quick? <laughs> Continue, Rush. Yeah, man. Just, <laughs> just the vote of thanks, sir. We thank you for talking to us. Uh, really appreciate your time. No, you're a busy man, so thank you again. We're gonna, we're gonna keep the show going, but you know, you can bounce anytime already. Yeah, man. I yeah, man. Enough appreciation. This man texted me one time and said, oh, I always hold him accountable. We're still waiting for you to make that big blunder so that we can call you out. I don't want but it. It, it, hasn't, not, it, hasn't, it hasn't come yet. I'm not you know, counting so, on it. As in, remember, you know, when you, when you mess up, we get clicks and views and stuff. Uh. When you mess up, that means Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> boys. I'm going to wonder. Hey, let me tell you something. If, if, the time, if, if the time when you were clicked and views is when you mess up something wrong with the audience. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, but, that's another thing. But we know that something wrong with the audience. Yeah. Something that, that is not even new news. Yeah, and, and it, it is what it is. But as I said, keep doing the work that you've been doing. Massive fans. Um, and obviously, where there is issues with, we're not shy to call you out on it. Um, yeah, man. Some, yeah, man. Things, some things you're not, you, you, you can't speak. And I, I genuinely believe that. Whisper should have gone to Mexico, you know, we spoke to you about it. They said that the, the administration's hands are completely clean of stuff of that affair. So what more can we do? We need to get Hal Grimson on the channel and ask him about that. that right? But thanks again, Mr. Chung. And don't go swagging for the next six months. Please and thanks. <laughs> you get me? That is it. All right, cool. Let's okay. We can't hear Mr. Chung. We're not sure if you have to speak. Yeah, man. I, I said... Respect, respect. All right, all yeah, right, man, right. take care. Thank you again. Yeah, man. Right. Cool, yeah. All right, all right. How are you, that, bro? Um, we have a good looking conversation. I feel like we touch, we touch a lot of bases. Touch all the bases. From, for the last six months. A lot of the Trinidad game, the Mexico game, the players, you know, personal reasons missing the games. People, when they get the news, they want to come for. We never click me to them. They never We never click me to the bridging. Because I see, see them get anxious in them. I see like them sit yeah, 40 they... minutes past and they must say, no, they hear no more. Them them, are... Then it's chunk. I'm going to click B to the bridge. Almost. Definite that. Them are great. Which number are those? Oh, yeah, bro. Mm. Which number are those? Oh, yeah. Ja, ja. But, all right. Let me see. Which number up for grabs? Can I get the nine? Nine. Who are nine? Can I get the nine? Can I get the nine, man? Can I get the nine? No, uh, I can't get the seven. I can't get the ten. I can't get the nine. I can't get the nine sometime. Can I get the eleven? 14, can't get the 17, up. can't get the 14. The 20 shaky, because it depends, but it came out in, a, in, a, in a the squad, then you can't get the 20. Anything else up for grabs with me? Probably can't get the 8, because DJ Rasta like that in time in the squad. As so, I said, bro, so, so, so we get excited. the news. I'm excited, I'm yeah. excited. Them are great for the Gold Cup, bro. Big news. People, I feel like that's the news of the day. As I said, I try to pressure him about Reese Nelson, you know, him now, him now. You know, you with nothing. You get me? I said, we tried, we tried, we tried, we tried some more. But hopefully, so, so them are great in for the goal. So when we're making our prospective Gold Cup 11s now, we can just add them are great. Yeah, going forward. May I put them are great on the squad? And obviously, probably the reason this one I wouldn't be I don't think ready in time. time. Gold Cup. Yeah, it wouldn't be ready in but time. I, but I want reason this for the fall, or at least 2024. Yeah. Reason the, the same Jamaican. Before the Gold Cup qualifier. Reason is the same Gold Jamaican. Right now, the only thing more I hear is Reese Nelson don't want to play for it. It's not that, 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 it's not, it's not all oh, Jamaica never reached out to no, us. No, no. We don't want him. Reese Nelson is good enough to make the squad. He's eligible. Well, probably not eligible yet because he doesn't have a passport. Yeah. But he can become eligible. Only thing, the only excuse we'll accept right now is Reese Nelson just don't want to play for Jamaica. And listen, you grew up in England and don't want to play for him. Respect it. Whatever. Keep it pushing, bro. Is it myself? Like somebody literally called out and said we click this. You see it, bro? But you tell them. We have so our plans well, are not. People, we don't stay so. Well, we have we an outline. Don't need right? thing, we have bro. an outline, right? We have an outline, right? You know, 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 you <laughs> That's your speedy uh, Speedy gone. Well, long time. That's a speedy in our squad. I don't see speedy. Speedy got MLS, maybe, but. Long time. That's a speedy in our squad. You can't get to 22. People, right? we never click there to know. Them are agree about confirmed. And we'll have to go to our life about this tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. We need to talk about this a little bit more. What does it mean? Like, how does this move a needle? Because I feel like this gives us an extra push. You know, in the, in the attack. A lot of times we need a moment, bro. A lot of times we need somebody to, to, to pop up and win the game for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. We need somebody to bring up a bench in Mexico. And we could look to the bench, you know. 
the best we had was Kaim Paris. We, we just that's that's not what we needed. You know, but now we are have when we talk about our wingers, we are talking about all Premier League level wingers. You know, just think about and it. Forward, and, forward, and, forward. Forward. and the worst, the worst is going to be Jamal Lowe. And Jamal Lowe is bottom of the barrel Premier League and a good championship. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm good with that. You know, if we can't get more, we get more. But right now, I'm satisfied. Al Grimson, I'm pleased with, with, the, with what he's done so far. The JFF seem pleased. They just spoke to the Gen Sec. They seem pleased. I want to respect both it, bro. The man said, don't expect good results in the early part. He, he was in charge of the Cameroon game and the yeah. Argentina game. Yeah. And, so I'm sure he would have told him, yo, I don't know them money. I mean, don't expect much. I'll do my best. But don't judge me too hard on this. You know, I'm asking some easy game, the Trinidad games, to feel it out and find some players. And then now is the time when we need to start to see something I put together. Mexico will never lose. And apparently he proposed a few friendly options to him and he deliberately chose the Jordan and the Qatar situation. Which I respect. Again. Yeah, Qatar is on par with us. Slightly mm -hmm. better than us Qatar in ranking. Them. It's slightly better than us in ranking. But, beating, I think, but I think Jamaica are a better team. They're yeah, ranked higher than us, but I do better. think Jamaica are better, 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 better players. And Jordan a team that we should manage to conjure a relatively good we are and fair result that we can mm -hmm. you know, go out mm -hmm. and and get some good reps in for the Gold Cup. You know, I insisted. Obviously, obviously my head no bigger than I feel him. Yeah. So me there, I said, we have to have fixtures with them way ahead of me. They must look on the idiot and shut off his face. Their job, of bro. course they're going to have fixtures. It's their you know? job. And, and, and I, I'm, get, I'm gaining trust. I'm gaining trust in Coach Alvin. And I feel like he knows the right thing. You know, and if it's not given to him, then no, we need to start looking for the administration. Because first, the coach, coach have to say, oh, this is what I need. Is it? I need a camp for a month or I need... Two games and then a camp for Arm two weeks. I need some America. better baller, bro. Arm need better some baller. people need to get them passport. Make it up. And they're making it up, bro. Bro, the, the thing that I'm most impressed about, you know, is the sponsorships. Mm -hmm. We see the man really have a barrage, a company. seven months, you can't say average bro, one per month. We've been banging the drum since starting this Art Sports TV and since just being common Reggae Boy fans. So I've been a Reggae Boy fan before conception, if that's even possible. Mm -hmm. Right? I don't know that. Do you want to tell them the story again? <laughs> but no, nah, I tell them right <laughs> now. But go back to just that. Yeah, man. So, 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 so reggae boys are me from the day when 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 Philip makes sure he said, you get me I said, René Belly, big same. You know them I don't like, lie, I don't lie. And the reggae boys, you know, my blood. And that's something I love. Yeah. When Horace Burrell was at the helm of Jamaican football, the amount of flow to you see a stadium, the amount of advertisement board with Digicel and Air Jamaica and and we sink, you get me to Ocean Spray, that's what the brand number they look for, whatever, whatever. All about the place. And then over the past couple of years, you know, the last decade or so, half decade, mm -hmm. we see sponsors drop off, less advertising boards, there's less interest, there's less, less corporate support of Jamaican football. And you wonder why? Obviously, we know that Captain Horace Burrell did have a big wallet behind him to help support Jamaican football himself, mm -hmm. which is probably why he why he kind of um, monopolized Jamaican football in a way. You get me, I said, people might have said it was a bit of a dictatorship yeah. because, of, because of the hold that he had on Jamaican football. But call it what you mean. Nobody him, argues him, it a winner, him pump, him pump funds into the football and him support us. You get me, mm -hmm. I said, so we weren't short of sponsors. You know, his corporate pull. And he had really, some success. Yeah. And then after that, no, we started taper off. And yeah. within the last six months, it's been ridiculous. How corporate Jamaica, public Jamaica, international sponsors just are jump on, on board. And sponsorship is not necessarily always about, oh, I can give 500 million to the cars. Mm -hmm. Some people can provide just hydration for the players. That's one less thing, one less form of expenditure that take off a Jamaica hand. Mm -hmm. So now we can use that player to play them the money. We can yeah, use we can that work on, work on Horace Burrell Field. Just not having to buy drinks for the players. You know, not having to buy medical supplies. That can help fix up this place. So that can help charter a jet so the, girl, the under 20 girls can go. Um, Central America play them competition. Yeah. And it's stuff like that that is important. Why well, we needed the sponsorship. And we can see where the new administration is working, 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 working. To dig us out of this hole that we've dug, dug ourselves into the past decade. Yeah, the next big thing coming up, obviously the girls have their two-game tour before their World Cup and the boys have their two-game tour before the, the Gold Cup. That's the next thing we will be talking about. Obviously, the squads will, will come out early June, whatever. So, a big summer, I feel like, for for Jamaica for Jamaican football. So, yeah, a lot, a lot to talk about. A lot to talk about. 
Wait, well, so what was your highlight of the interview? Obviously, we're going to do that before we're done. No, man, as I said, you know, just, just to hear the amount of people coming on board. Yeah. The amount of people coming on board. And obviously, do my great country. They might agree. Come, but, but besides that, the amount of people that, that's coming on board to support the country, support our football, it's important. And I think with that amount of support from corporate Jamaica, I think there's only one direction for us to go. And that's up. Loving it, loving it. People, if you don't like the live or just going on the interview, me I'm going to do a couple of things for you. Like the video. Hit the like button. We have what? 161 viewers right now. And we have 82 likes. No, Bridget. That's crazy. No, Bridget. That can't work. May I tell you straight? That can't work. So, like, like the, the, the stream right now. If you're how, much money, YouTube, how much money? Like how much money? How much money YouTube charge for like? How much money Google charge for like on YouTube? Nothing. Not even a cent, Bridget. It couldn't free. And the way they might go on, so it couldn't free. Say it, it free if you like. If it didn't. You need to check. Because the way they might, they might rush on the thing, Bridget, I wonder if it free. Hmm. People like, like the thing, no, man. I see likes ago, but like it some more, man. You see me? Share the video to somebody where you know never watch it yet. Or even if them watch it, send, send it to them again and say, watch it again. Mr. Chung, tell you something about the one hour four mark. Go watch it. You see me? <laughs> check it out. Um, leave a comment and do all of them, all of them nice things. There. The one more thing for us, though. Share the video to at least 10 people, but ensure to get us seven subscribers for the body interview the same way. Because if each and every one of you guys can manage to do that, you know how many subscribers that get us by the end of the day? Well, holy people near my company share them. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's confirmed. Jordan and Qatar, them are gray, number 22, big grain on the box. Is this give a number already? Oh, god, man, makes me go and live the quick, <laughs> bro. Remember, good no. Daniel Johnson can get the 12 and Demar Gray can get all the 8 to you know? I don't lie. Or Jamal yeah. Lowe can get the 22 same way. Demar Gray can oh, get man, the 12. Oh, God, man. Don't forget none of, the, none of the star number, them. man. Just forward, baby, and don't come be a diva. Just take one number, man. Take one number, man. Take it 23. Like how Mikael and Tony come lucky 18. Yeah, man. Just take it, take it 23. Take it 15. 23, 23. I can't have a number. Yes. Yeah, so Jamal Lowe. Yeah, take, take, take it 21. You know, even the 22. Take it. Take it 15. Take it 13, then you can't get it 13. What am I talking about? Take yeah, it, take it 19. I'm West Clark, no, take it 19. Yo, take one, of the, take one number, man, and just come play some ball. Score some goal, be there. Bro, I never asked him about can I have boys Clark, bro. What about What's him? the deal? Yes. Is, I coach see him? Him that, bro. I coach up with need for talk to Adamson. No, but there is some weirdness with that situation because he was called up. So yeah, that's an admin come. situation. So I wanted to mm. ask about that. But are we that still? Yeah. Peep. Kevin and W, you say just a giant. Scroll go all the way back to the beginning of the interview. We spoke about We're going to end the live now. As soon as we end it, just watch it. Just watch it. And even if you watch it already, watch it again. That is it. Free. Like the video, subscribe, share, do all of that. Is it? Oh, it's Mbappé 24. Simple one. Oh. I'm going to answer some question, bro. I'm really serious. Big up this side at Sports TV. Anytime. If the coach chop Blake, we have a chance. Yeah, yeah. Andre Blake is a big keeper. Andre Blake is our best goalkeeper. This is that Sports TV. Big up. You've delivered the news. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People just need to relax yourself. Because if you say it, it's going to go so, bro. That is it. That is it. We're going still now, bro. Late in the night, you know. You see? I'm going to give them some more at another time. Yeah, at another time. See you now, soon. Big up on yourself. We're gone. This is this that Sports TV. Hey. <laughs>